Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fowler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for October 4th, 2016. The moon today is conjunct Juno, it's the moon in Scorpio and it's conjunct Juno and this could be a great day to spend with people that we love, family members, people we have a long-term relationship with, also in a business uh, environment, not only in a family or friendship uh, connotation. But this could become a little too intense. The moon in Scorpio can make us too dramatic. We have to watch that and, and not make the situation too symbiotic. It's going to be exact at around 12 noon time Central European time. That's 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but we can feel it all through the morning in America. Then there's a trying to Chiron at around 1500 hours Central European time and that's around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And remember, we feel those transits a few hours before and a few hours after. And the trying to Chiron is really a good time to work through problems that were already there before. Uh, things that are not new but have not been um, healed yet can really be worked through now, but there is a quincunx to Uranus at the same time, which means we could be a little less patient and have a shorter fuse. We have to watch out not to lash out on people. A little later than that, at around 1800 hours Central European time, that 1300 hours Eastern Standard time, there's a trine to Vista and a sextile to Mercury, and that could really be a great time. Um, that could be a really great time and it goes on through the evening and night uh, also in the states from 1700 hours on later to exchange information to absorb new information to send out information it's a time that we could really feel that our emotions are being uh, transmitted in the right way that we can say what we feel and uh, that it can be accepted in the environment around us in a beautiful way. It could be a great night for any intellectual activity like going out to galleries or hearing a lecture or some spoken word. All of these uh, activities are great. It could be it can be a great night for writing or for the muses. The sun is still sextiling Saturn. It's a time in which we can take things forward in the work and career environments and progress forwards and Venus the planet of relationships and love is sextiling Pluto we can be much more intense in our relationships demand more and we have to see that we're doing that in an objective way and not in a way that is too out of control too emotional or too dramatic and ask for that intensity and that renewal of you know, there's something about Pluto that talks about the renewal of authenticity. And it's, it's good to have that renewal as long as we're doing it as a positive way. That's about it for today. I want to thank you for listening. This is Boaz Fader. Goodbye.